everyone, I am Vidya. I am a third year BPT student. Today I am going to show you how to measure the range of motion of cervical spine. Uh, here is my subject. Ma'am, are you comfortable? Yes, I am. So uh, we are going to start. Uh, uh, we are going to start with cervical flexion. The normal range of motion for cervical flexion is zero to eighty to ninety degree. Patient position will be sitting with her back and feet supported. Now we are going to put our goniometer uh, fulcrum at the external auditory meters and the stationary okay. and the stationary arm uh, would be perpendicular to the ground. The moving arm would be with the base of the nails. Now I am going to ask my patient to uh, bring uh, bring her uh, chin to the chest. Ma'am, uh, please bring your uh, chin to the chest. Okay. Now I am going to move my uh, moving arm to uh, uh, with the base of the nails at uh, it is actually going to be around fifty degree. Okay. So now we are going to measure the cervical extension. The normal range of motion for cervical extension is 0 to 60 degree. Uh, patient position will be the same. Uh, the back and the feet would be supported and the, st uh, and the axis would be at the external auditory meters. Uh, then a stationary arm would be perpendicular to the ground and the moving arm would be with the base of the nails. Now I am going to ask my patient to look, up, look up at the ceiling as far as she can. And uh, first, um, I am going to take the initial reading, which is which is around ninety degree. Okay, uh, ma'am, please look up at the ceiling as far as you can. Okay. Now I am going to move and put it with the base of the nails, and I am going to measure the reading, which is around forty degree. So now I am going to measure the side flexion. The normal range of motion for side flexion is 0 to 45 degree. The axis will be at the uh, C7. So now I'm first I am going to palpate the C7. Ma'am, please put your uh, chin, uh, please uh, put your chin to the chest. Okay. So here is our C7. Please put it back. Okay. So now I am going to put my uh, <coughs> fulcrum at the C7. And my stationary arm would be perpendicular to the ground, and the moving arm would be in the alignment with the occipital protuberance. Okay, so here is the initial reading, which is around zero degree. Now I'm going to ask my patient to put her right ear to uh, to touch her right uh, uh, to touch the shoulder. Mm. Ma'am, please bring your right ear to the shoulder. Okay, now I'm going to align it. So it is around 40 degree. So now we are going to measure the rotation. The normal range of motion for the normal range of motion for rotation is uh, 0 to 70 to 90 degree. Uh, we are going to put our fulcrum at the center of the cranial aspect of head and the stationary arm would be uh, in, would be parallel to the uh, imaginary line between the two acromion process. And the moving arm would be in line with the tip of the nose. We are going to measure the initial reading first, which is uh, showing here 90 degree, which is around 90 degree. Now I am going to ask my patient to rotate at the right side. Ma'am, please rotate at the right side. Okay. So now I am going to align it with the tip of the nose. So now I am going to subtract the uh, uh, two values and it is going to be around 60 degree. Okay. Thank you so much.